VHS 85 with Tora Kin. Do I need to and, have seen uh, the other 84? No. Okay. This is the 85th installment in the VHS series. That's a lot um, of VHSs. Yeah. So stylized title V slash H slash S slash 85. Can you say that fast? Because I feel like it's a tongue twister. What? V slash H slash S slash 85. Well, when you say H, it's probably easier. What? H? Like it's. Say, it, say H. H. It's yeah. H. It's not. Well, say it, say it, if, say, it my, say it my way and see if it's a tongue twister. H. Yeah. V slash H slash S slash 85. Oh, you slowed down. You slowed down. You lose. Yeah, because. All right, I... Anyway, so the let. <laughs> I love David Breckner. Um. He directed the best VHS segment, which was Amateur Night from the original film. The one with the uh, I haven't seen any succubus of them. and the glasses camera. Sorry? I haven't seen any of them. Damn. That's the original film. He did a great job with that one. Um, so there's VHS. There's VHS 2. There's good segments from the first two films. Mm -hmm. VHS viral... Might be the worst one. It might be the only one without like any redeeming qualities whatsoever. Is it because and then, that director didn't do a segment in it? Well, so here's the thing. I don't, I'm not sure if you know this about the uh, films. They're anthology films and they're different directors. So we're going to see... A, it's a basically a collection of short films. Yeah. Um, And so the previous two films were 94... And 99? So they were stylized as being 90s movies. Oh. And I mean, with the title of B VHS, 85, I guess, you know, uh, used tape sometimes. Like, what, when was VHS as a medium, as a format invented? Wouldn't 85, like, would, so wouldn't every camera have, like, be those big blocky pieces of shit? That you have to rest. Yeah, on potentially. Shoulder. Anyway, they're found footage, and we'll see. We'll see which directors do a half decent job at doing what. Um, so I have the directors list open in case I get confused. Somebody told me beforehand that David Bruckner only directed the in between segments. So if that's the case, I'm less excited. But we'll see. Scott Derrickson di directed some stuff too, but we'll see. Um, I don't know if they say the title of each of them, <laughs> uh, beforehand. Anyway, I love my boy, David Bruckner. I think he's so fucking underrated. Anyone have a good way to watch? Well, it's on the streaming service, Shudder. Shudder. He said a good way. Shudder's good. They <laughs> give me free screener copies of films all the time. Ah, uh, corporate shill Adam. I just I just publicly stated my bias. <laughs> okay, that doesn't mean I'm going to give them like every one of their movies good ratings. That doesn't mean uh, it hasn't influenced my ratings of their films at all. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. <laughs> um Anyway, um little fun factoid, I think is Brad Miska still one of the producers? Let's see. Um Producers. Sometimes it's difficult on IMDb to see all the shit. Well, Brad no, Miska I... is a producer, if that's how you pronounce his name. He <laughs> follows me on Twitter. Oh, David Bruckner is also a producer of all of them. So I'm just happy to support him. I think he's so fucking Does cool David Bruckner follow you on Twitter? Uh, he did, but now his Twitter doesn't exist. He probably got sick of it after the Musk thing. Which sucks because I didn't get his email, and now it's like, ah, oh, shit. We were we had each other's DMs for a bit, but now uh, we don't. Uh, fun fact about uh, Brad Miska, Miska, producer of the f series. Uh, on his in his Twitter bio, it says DGG hater. That is not because he hates Destiny's community. It is because he hates the director David Gordon Green. Who's David who is a very Gordon bad Green. horror director. No, uh, he is responsible for the past three Halloween movies. Oh. Didn't everyone like the first 
one? There were enough that there were three of them. There were enough people that liked them that there were. He three did of them. the new Exorcist movie. I heard no one like that. I've only heard bad things. And, and that's Pineapple actually coming Express. to that's co- you know what's funny? That's coming to digital in like a week. <laughs> it's been out in theaters for like a week. It's it's literally like we're going straight to digital after like two weeks. It's so embarrassing. Anyway, we're gonna start this film, VHS eighty five. Uh, ooh, he just got fired from the new Exorcist squeakquel. So they decided he was so bad that they're, he's not doing the squeakquel. That's so funny. Because I did hear that they greenlit three movies. What? Cause, uh, yeah, because they paid like $40 million for the rights to the Exorcist. You're, and now that... the first one of the new trilogy is like the one of the biggest flops and critical stinkers. Your, $400 your... million? <laughs> $400 million for the rights. Never mind. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, I would also fire him. That's very funny. <laughs> anyway, um, VHS 85. Um, Torkin, you remembered that uh, you don't start on the tongue click, but slightly before, between one and the twin tongue click. Just I thinking. Um, all right, here we go. Three, two. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, I'm just making sure my subtitles are enabled. <laughs> Oh, actually, that's a good point. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Uh, forced I, I or right, S- correct? I would say the second one. SDH is because forced. Forced means if there's something not like in- if they're speaking Spanish. Ah, uh, okay. But I want subtitles for everything. All right, here we go. Ready, spaghetti, everybody. Three, two, one. All right. So what's oh! cool about the VHS? So what's cool about the VHS series is even if there's like a bad one, you're kind of just like, well, it's only going to be like 15 minutes. Oh, okay. (laughs) And then you can move on to the next one, right? So it's like, it's a collection of short films and I like that. And I think that that's a nice way to do horror films. I like the idea of collections of short horror films. There's actually quite a few horror film franchises that are done in this kind of short film anthology way. It's not a bad way to do it. Yeah. Um, some of them might have personality. Some of them might suck, but we'll see what happens. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm still keen to watch uh, Fall of the House of Usher, even if you're going to shit on it the whole time. Okay. Liking the style so far. Love it. Reminds me I like of, that it uh, doesn't look like a fake VHS shit. It reminds me of my um, Disney movies I used to watch as a kid that were recorded from public TV. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh-huh. Good sound design so far. Uh, now it's just effects. Huh, let's let's go to the park and smoke weed. Was that a tiger mug? Perhaps. Mayhaps. <laughs> okay. If this wasn't in 1985, I'd say she got fentanyl. <laughs> like, <laughs> you need some you need some Narcan. It's it's the You need Cosby some naloxone RV. right now. Oh, that's the naloxone. Okay, he saved her. He saved your life. (laughs) Man, I'm not a fan of the 80s porno mustaches making a comeback. Oh! Oh! More of him, please. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Oh, I love beer beer. <laughs> <laughs> I like beer that's called beer. It's the pet cemetery. No, what? Wake. They did improve the sound design from the previous two films. Welcome to Lake. Evil? <laughs> oh. Eviction. So okay, the sound is weird now, but... These people do bring professional equipment, so we have to just, I guess, imagine how it's yeah. put together. You'd be able. Ooh, she's taking a dump. I would love for this exact same thing to exist, but you hear like everything, the whirring of the tape, and like the yeah, zzz in like one channel the whole time. Because <laughs> I filmed with, you know, tape. Uh -oh. Many times in my past. So. Stinky. I definitely he have like, a very distinct memory of this shit. He would have smelt that before he saw it. The sign said Lake Stinky, though. Uh... Booba. Is he forty? He looks like my brother's best man, mm -hmm. Adrian. Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Ah, oh. and then a shark. Don't swim in Lake Evil. Have you ever done that? No, I'd really like to. I have. Wakeboarding is fun, too. <laughs> I like that look. Why would you heat it up? Catch the beer beer. Oh. It's a grenade.
<laughs> I'm gonna go. Excuse me. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. So cute. If I drown, I want it to be an American right fucking flag uh, life jacket. Uh I do like that there is a visual authenticity to this. Uh oh. Uh, oh. Why are you so bad at this? What did I tell you? Women and upper body strength. It was her arms, uh, not her legs. What did I tell you? Oh, my arms. I like those little glitchy audio. What moments. did they say? You don't have subtitles on? No, I did, but I missed it. I was... Uh, they said, is that DNR? Which I don't know what that means, but... They were like kind of looking for other people or something. They were, uh, I, okay. I don't know. They were confused about something. What? Oh, yeah, no, I don't know what e just happened there. She just fell. The basically. evil got her. Oh god. Ah. Oh. Up. Uh... Oh. oh, she's being shot. They're being shot. Ah. Uh... Something bit, something bit my butt. Oh. God! Damn, wow. someone's a good sniper. Oh, jeez, love the effect. That was holy shit, sick. Yeah, good practicals. Holy shit, love it. Sorry, is that cop being picked up? Oh, there's his fingy. Hey. Je oh, that guy. Show tummy. <laughs> yeah. I like that little visual of the engine starting slash it like tilting a little because Based on how it looked, I think it was digital, but I think that it blended well enough with the um, effects, like camera aesthetic, that it, it makes for a more convincing effect without it needing to be like super high budget. Yeah, it's realistic enough. It bl as long as it blends well with the images, like it's fine. Ideally, I shouldn't be able to tell that it's digital, but you know, it looked great otherwise. Why don't they just use their phones? 
<laughs> oh. Imagine if he made the Master Chief noise. That's cool. That's cool. That was generally well done. <laughs> For the last so is that considered time... like the wraparound segment or what? Was that Brucker? Oh, no, no, it's still going. Rub's still good. Director of that segment made the wrong turn remake? Okay, Wait, not what? Buckner. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Shut up. No. Is everybody alive? It's from the lake. What the fuck? You can check. What the fuck is going on? This is such a hard turn in the quality of this segment. Or perhaps a wrong turn? My penis. Ah! My penis is <laughs> detached from my body. My pee pee fell off. <laughs> <laughs> this is so weird. Metal clinks. Are we supposed oh. to not assume this is literal now? Oh, we're going to see the guy recording and he's going to have like half a head or something. Maybe they're zomboed? Oh, my boy. Is everybody alive? Is like everybody yeah. alive, but like maybe one guy? This is ridiculous. <laughs> Hello. Well, it's a good thing they got that beer beer in shot. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so now we're bringing in supernatural elements. Okay, yeah. okay. Why aren't we dead? Okay, good. Oh, I'm yeah. glad it's acknowledging the... it. Shut up. <laughs> It's interesting, okay. Tachyon. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I like how they use the word new, too. It's great for the time period. Toss her in the river. Oh yeah, no, bitch. not porn stash. Oh, 
I like how it's magic water that keeps them alive but doesn't heal them. <laughs> yeah. It's just suffering. Yeah, go back in the water. Uh! Ow! Uh! That's where I kept my memory of how to be a decent human being. <laughs> it's going to be terrible. How am I going to... How am I going to wash this? Oh, revenge? It's fun. It's cheese, but it's fun, yeah. Tickle him. <laughs> Damn. Cold-blooded. <laughs> this is fun. But wait. Hmm. <laughs> He's a bit sticky. God. I'm willing to bet money they got most of their VHSs from uh, the Red Letter Media guys. This is the Bruckner segment. Why does that guy look familiar? I I I also thought he looked familiar. Highly classified. Domeco. Mexico. Adios mio. El zombie. So this would have been the forced subtitles. Uh, <laughs> and I literally said in case someone's speaking Spanish. Wow. <laughs> so it's completely correct. Did this guy do it? Or is the other segment over? Sorry? Is this a new segment? I think so, yeah. Uh, we might return to the other one. I'm assuming so. <laughs> she farted on it. She did a big... <laughs> <laughs> oh... Chava. <laughs> I love that tiny drop in pitch. <laughs> that was also very authentic. I've heard that many times with VHS deterioration.
Hmm. That was a that was almost a weird digital like glitch right there. So what the fuck is the VHS? One of those looked a little digital. I didn't like that. That. <laughs> So I'm just going to point out that so far every segment has much more authentic audio than the previous two films. Oh, okay. And that was one of my criticisms that I made vocal in my review, and two of the producers of this film follow me on Twitter. Ah, so, so it might be... <laughs> so I might, have, I might have improved it. So the credits better <laughs> say special thanks to YMS. There's, there's, there's a small chance. <laughs> I'm not saying it happened, but I'm saying <laughs> I said a thing and I'm noticing an improvement. So. It's not up. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, she got good springed. Hey, hey, hey. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. So far, there haven't been anything, any sections that were like absolute cancer. So we'll see what happens. But well, we've had all of one, and uh, I know can... <laughs> the opening segments of. I think it was the previous movie. The opening ones were just like, why would you put them at the beginning? <laughs> uh... I can't hear Uno Dos Grace Quattro without that. GTA song. Boop, 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 boop. Oop, she did. Ah, nice to see outside hasn't been affected. Classic downtown Mexico. I wish the audio was cutting in sync with the video. When you see those little fl flashes of black 
screen and those like moments that cut out because if on tape it would affect the same portions yeah there should there should be the audio should cut out at the same time that would be nice editing wise like that wasn't that bad but you should you should have you should have moments of the audio like entirely cutting out I oh he did I'd like it if uh one of the segments is like a one shot that'd be cool when it gets a higher budget and we get fucking you know Alejandro yeah. Gonzalez Indiaritu directing one of the segments then maybe <laughs> you know like we'll see we'll see what the franchise does in the future, but I don't know. You don't think it's going to happen? Yep. Oh. Is he going to bonk him on the head? Yeah. Why does she have to do it? Do it, Carla. Do it. Bonk him. Give him the bonk. <laughs> Cameraman makes sure, makes sure to fucking whip to the guy, too. <laughs> He's like, wait, I got to get this. <laughs> I got to get this on camera. <laughs> I almost didn't catch that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think she was going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, praise the cameraman. <laughs> He's a professional. To kill them, yeah, well. I don't know. I don't know how many people would just Bonk. do that. In this situation, <laughs> you know, I mean, unless they, unless we were like for sure we knew that they were gonna like turn into a zombie, then yeah, like they... what? So if there was a guy impaled and he was like, "Kill me," and you're like, "Well, you're not gonna become a zombie, so I'll just let you die a slow, painful." Okay, death. well, if there's a let's say there's a guy not impaled and he says, "Kill me," would you do it? No, but that guy was in fact impaled. <laughs> I'm not a doctor. <laughs> could could be the same situation, right? He could be fine. He could just be a big baby. <laughs> he like kicks his toe really hard. Oh, no, he could be savable. It. You never know, right? So in my mind, it's the same thing. I don't know if you can be saved. What if, what if you're in excruciating pain for fucking 20 hours and then you're fine in a week because you got yeah. saved and recovered? True. Right? Who's gonna just kill somebody because they have a, an injury? I mean, like you're not a doctor. You don't. She is, in fact, a doctor. Look, she's got the mark on her. <laughs> she has the uh, cross on. Why is she doing? Even if you're face? a doctor, you try to save people. You don't just get, you don't just go like, "Oopsie." <laughs> this is the '80s. They haven't invented like euthanizing patients. They they should take him to America and throw him in the lake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, magic water is what we need. He's the Joker, baby. He is the Joker, baby.
He's like Croatian Joe. Uh, jo- <laughs> he did the stinky. Uh oh. <laughs> it was. It's a joke. <laughs> Ah, and she's Harley Quinn. This is their origin story. Mexican Joker. Damn it. Damn it, (laughs) damn it, damn it. Oh. It's the Batman. Fuck. Those are the most movie glow sticks I've ever seen. They're potions. Yeah. I, I'm going into battle. I need your strongest potion, potion shutter. Yeah, I'd stay. That guy wrote I... a movie with somebody recently. What did he? Did the potion seller guy. Yeah, I think he's. I think he co-wrote the new Luca Guadagnino movie that's coming out I'm with not... uh, Zendaya, Zendaya in it. I'm sort of over Zendaya. the potion seller guy. Like literally. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the potion seller movie and Zendaya is the potion seller? Maybe. <laughs> it's I'd not w- out yet. No, I mean, that might that might be what it is. <laughs> I'd watch that. But yeah, the potion seller guy is like, I think he's working on the new Guadagnino. I think he co-wrote. Damn. Pre-Hispanic. Pre-Hispanic. Mm. Wow, those glow sticks do nothing. Ah, a rock! That jump scare was dumb. Artificial noise. Stupid. It really spooked me. It was a rock solid jump scare. Yeah. Rocks make those noises in real life when you turn the lights on them. I'm the Joker, baby. <laughs> oh. Chopin. <laughs> Stop jerking off. Ah. Uh, no, he's bonking himself. Hmm. <laughs> Are those tongs? How'd you grab that? He made some sausages. Oh. Oh. He's funny. This is very funny, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> oh you know we're getting to some funny dumb shit and it's it hasn't been that boring it's mostly been like actiony type things so even though it's not great i it's still in the realm of like vhs segments it's nowhere near the bottom
<laughs> oh no, she's just, got a silly dress on. It is a little bit like we have as above, so below at home. <laughs> and even that movie was not even a good movie. Mexican Joker. <laughs> <laughs> the Silent Hill sound effect? You mean an air siren? <laughs> siren Hill. Those big fucking hands. Uh, skulls. <laughs> She's clean. It's just been revoked. <laughs> now I'm the Joker, baby. How about instead of the Joker, baby, it's the baby Joker? Uh, Is that Boss Baby 3? Will we get the baby Joker? Ooh, are we going to get some titty? All right. Eh. We made it. I don't see the big deal with Titty. I just I mean... wanna... <laughs> <laughs> they they look funny. One hundred percent of gay men and then like fifty percent of straight men don't see all the see the big deal with Titty. So <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Are they gonna send? Is she gonna send them to Brazil? Ah. Uh... I've got more butt than her. It's weak ass shit. She makes that pull out game weak. Mm. Which is a compliment. Yeah, but your waist to hit ratio is off. We haven't seen anything like this since the bite of 87. <laughs> Will be a day that is spooky. So, so far, the two segments we've seen, six out of ten for the first one, four out of ten for the second one? Uh, sure.
Okay. He's a fly. Mm -hmm. Man, there's too much texture in the uh, soundtrack, and you can tell it's different than the, the the audio, the care in the audio put into the filming here. The soundtrack sounds separate, but we're supposed to believe it's like a the soundtrack of the. Damn, they almost got the audio right there. Shit. <laughs> Well, now they got to do it all over again. Hello, Saber Spark. Thank you for the raid. We're all watching VHS uh, 85, which you can uh, watch along with us on uh, Shutter, Shutter.com. If anybody has a Shutter subscription, I'm sure they offer like free trials or whatever. Uh, this is a an anthology horror film. The next segment is starting now, so you're not missing anything. If you missed the first part, you can always watch those segments after. Um, we're just starting a new segment right now. So free trial on Amazon or YouTube. Thank you for the sub, SaberSpark. Thank you with Prime. Why do you have an underscore in your name? Did, could you not get SaberSpark the normal? <laughs> Outrageous. So far, it's entertaining. Some loser got it. Wow. Well, they lost. VHS 16. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the rate. I appreciate it. Um. Do you believe in God? Every VHS film is worth watching, except maybe viral. <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, good segments from all of them except VHS Viral. Oh, no. No. The power glove? Techno glove. It's so bad. Ooh, VR chat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say there's a cup. What kind of a cup? D cup? Yeah, Johnny. I was thinking of Johnny Mnemonic and Cube Zero. <laughs> I like this segment so far. Has this been a wonder? Yeah. We haven't had a cut yet, right? It's so bad. They've cut a few times in this segment? I don't know. Well, now... There has been for sure.
No way this could exist in 1985. Wow, that <laughs> that motion <laughs> spreading. <laughs> You don't know what it looks like in there. It could exist. That woman's like, does technology scare you? Technology! No. NPT. This is not Pootie Tang. <laughs> it's good to see Jada Plinkett Smith getting some work after the Oscars. I also call her Jada Plinkett Smith. What is it? It's supposed to be Pinkett, but we've seen Red Letter Media, so we say Plinkett. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oh, she's going into the Matrix. A black mirror? Ah, oh, don't say it. Oh. <laughs> oh my god we've all been bamboozled this is the latest season of Black Mirror Boom. nice Bam. <laughs> Dig it. Oh my god. The future is now. That's an interesting choice. <laughs> Cuz now it's like, like now I'm confused like is it Is she going to explode? Like or that something? doesn't have accurate tracking. So then it's like wait, are we watching a film that's supposed to be made in the 80s? Or set in the 80s. <laughs> right? uh, Those are two different things. Ooh. Gotta hit that T. It should have been 4.2.0. Oh my god, it's Tron! So I'm gonna assume that in the context of what they're showing, she's just a scammer. <laughs> no, she's a performance artist. Who hates technology? It's interesting. Why are they so much better quality than she is? Different camera. Again, the soundtrack is occupying so much more space in the sound than it should. But... <laughs> I'm just going to moan in this microphone. <laughs> Man, RuPaul's Drag Race gets crazier every year.
Checkmate, atheists. For a second, that sounded like a homo. Kind of sucks that they uh, didn't use real eighty five technology. <laughs> I think the audio is the biggest problem. Now there's gonna. It be would feel like if they if they put more care into making it sound like diegetic, like it's occupying so much fucking space in the channels that just doesn't feel like I'm watching something on a tape. Take the exact same soundtrack and feed it through a fucking tape. Oh no. It's Britney Spears. It's Kraft Punk. Oh, oh it's me. Behind- She's a scammer, right? Because this isn't real tracking. What's the implication? I don't think it's a scammer. It's supposed to be a performance art piece. But obviously the technology's fake because of it's a movie. Ah! Yeah, like... I just don't understand... I don't understand the goal of this segment at all. I think this and is just, uh, I don't understand the intent of this segment at all. That's funny. Ah, oh, my head. Imagine imagine being so tone deaf about your assignment that you get approached by the producers of VHS and they say, we're making a movie about 1985 and you go with VR. You, you misunderstood the assignment entirely. At first I was buying it a little like the guy in the woods and like, okay, yeah, maybe there's like some basic sort of like, you know, it didn't show his perspective, like, maybe, you know, but, like, this level of, like, tracking, like, it completely ignore the fact that she got her leg ripped off. Everything else about it is just so stupid. Clap! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Did you get all that? Encore! Well, that's it. They think they thought it was part of the show. It was a real black mirror. That that's funny. Yay! I called it. Ah, they really love me. Imagine, like, it's it's as if you decided to make something bad. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't great. That was... 
Oh! Which is how I felt about a lot of, a lot of the segments in the uh, ABCs of Death movie. Uh, some people, some of them were honest about it. They're like, we just made a piece of shit and this is funny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was easily the worst one so far. What do I give that one? Three? Three out of ten? I think three is fair. For what? What did Root do? Is was this what? a new segment already? As in... I think so. Uh, no more wraparound? I'm trying to decide when to piss. Yeah, I think this is the newest segment. Is your favorite piece? Well, I guess I will. There's still an hour left in the movie. I'm going to piss real quick. Let me know if I miss anything. Ah! Quick. He's gay. Gay uncle. Oh, it's me. Oh. But. Yeah, Jor. <laughs> okay, she looks like oh, a guessing? character. She looks like a character from Danger Five, and it's fucking hilarious. Character from what? Danger Danger Five. Five? Yeah. Have you seen that? Uh, I've seen at least. Three episodes? The second season's great. Mm hmm. Did I miss literally anything? Uh, Introducing family members. She was, yeah. Adam! Adam! Uh, <laughs> Adam! Uh... Adam uh... <laughs> Hearing someone say the name Adam in an annoyed voice is like music to my ears. Adam! <laughs> Adam! Uh... Adam! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! Jeff. My name's Jeff. My name is Jeff. <laughs> My name, in fact, Jeff. Do they say Festivus? For the rest of us. <laughs> Did you hear a dog? It was outside my window if you didn't hear anything. No, I didn't hear anything. Okay. It was I'm just worried window. that like sometimes the odd car races past. So far this is the segment with the most like detached uh, video to audio quality. Yeah. It's way too clean. Thanks. You can take the exact same audio and, like, have modern video and it would fit right in. There's no stylization to the audio at all. It's just regular boom mic. I think we hail Satan. It's going to be Satan or something. Bing Chilling, tell me all about that after we're done the movie. That sounds very interesting. To the seven, did they say? 
Did they say Hail Satan? To the seven. Wait, Arsenic what? brownies? Oh, is this um Oh they kill seven people? Sorry. Oh <gasps> wait. Okay. There was a seven earlier. Wait, okay. did they kill the They are the snipers. They're the snipes. Oh They're the sniper wolves. Oh shit. The videotapes. But I love his voice. <laughs> oh, you, oh, you didn't see him. He he looks like um, Napoleon Dynamite's brother with a mullet. Nice. Oh wow! Stop it! <laughs> Adam! <laughs> yeah, Adam! Yeah, remind me to check Jack's film's Twitter after. I'm just watching a movie right now. Yeah. Save bullets by lighting the tent on fire. <laughs> and less of a crime scene. Because, you know, you don't know if they lit themselves on fire by accident. Five to go. Oh my <laughs> god. So they they singled this group out because there were ex exactly seven of them? Yeah. I wonder if near the beginning of the first segment you could see like in the background maybe you could see like sniper or something at one point. Ah, uh, it's the cat. It's the police. Nah, it's got to be a prank. It's a prank time. You can see the truck. The truck was pretty obvious, though, wasn't it? Wasn't that supposed to be like. This is fun. I like this conceptually a lot. What? Yeah. Ha. Yeah, get him, Susan. Yeah! <laughs> Susan's ready to fucking black black. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah. She's she handles that recoil pretty well. <laughs> She's got experience. Sorry. <laughs> she yeah. did that like nothing. <laughs> this is very funny. I can't. Sorry. <laughs> she like she wasted bullets. She didn't even reload. What a dumbass. <laughs> 
<laughs> she didn't have time. This one's to funny, stupid. Her. This one's great. This is my favorite one. <laughs> shoot her. Shoot her again. <laughs> yeah, he just shoot the cops like. What if she's still breathing? Bang, 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 bang. It's just been bespoked. <laughs> Mmm. Oh! What the heck? Oh, big... <laughs> yeah! That's fine. Oh, the water gun! Ooh, correct. You're right. You're absolutely right. It's just good. Ow! Oh. Hurting! <laughs> now um, I have a headache. <laughs> this is so much fun. This is great conceptually. She's talking pretty good for someone with a. So were the ar arsenic brownies for themselves to consider? Was it a suicide pack? Like, what, what the hell was their deal? Pardon? She, they were talking about arsenic brownies? So yeah, They're so a death cult. So it was a suicide pack. No, no. The family were trying Oh, seven the other people okay, they each, killed and seven people Susan each. Susan okay. killed her seven with arsenic brownies. Okay. okay, okay, okay. The other ones were having more fun with it. Yeah. What the? F uh, Gary. <laughs> he is very recognizable. Is that segment over? Damn. That was fun. I wish it would keep going. It was so yeah. short. I. Was it the same director as the first? Not sure. But I think it's uh I think it's great that uh Ooh. uh they split it up like that. It works well. Yeah. <laughs> Gary's not having a good uh good time. Well, here's the thing with this segment is like the soundtrack is just so clearly in post. That's the one thing that doesn't feel like it's a part of it, which sucks because it's so clearly supposed to be diegetic. Mm. Oh man, everything else about the audio sounds great for what it's supposed to be. It's just it's just the music. Yeah, the narrator narrator fits great. Adam. Oh, no. Oh, 
Am I streaming on two different platforms? I'm streaming on three different platforms, bitch. Get out of here. Bitch. Also, aspect ratio change. Love the look of this. Doesn't look like it's fill. Oh, sorry, it doesn't look like it's tape anymore, but I, I like the look. Mm. Looks like very shit film. It also looks like a post effect, which is unfortunate, but is this one to one? No. Not at all. Not on the slightest. He's gonna It looks fine, lol. Well, you should watch it on a better screen and get better eyes. Duh. Oh, you done goofed, Karen. Yeah. Do you see? Is that a reference to that classic film where there's a cow eye in the woman's eye and they cut the eye and there's a cow eye? Ah, oh, the zombies just wanted to have a picnic. Was that Rick Grimes? No, nope, never mind. <laughs> Girl. Girl. <laughs> Horror video. <laughs> he does look like a fake police officer. <laughs> this guy does not look. He's so out of place. <laughs> what the hell is going on? It's Friday the 13th right now! Except not for you because you're on Australia. Sorry. Outrageous. This I demand we go back in time immediately. Oh, yeah, it is the cop from Disco Elysium. I sure did, my man. Why is the voice acting so bad now? Like, every acting... This has like, to be another... This is like it's taking the piss. It has to be. Yeah, this is this all going to be like this was actually the video. I think I think it just might be a bad director. True. This would be nowhere near the fucking worst segment that's been in a VHS film. Oh, wow. I I looked up uh, who the director is. They did uh, Sinister. Oh, is this the one for this one? Yeah. That's embarrassing. And Black wow. Phone. Because they have, they have reputability, and I knew that Scott Derrickson. I knew that they had some people excited for it, and I was willing to like give him a chance, but wow. I've never loved him, but th those other two films 
are so far way more competent than whatever the fuck this is. So let's see how it goes. You done, Gert. He is the biggest director attached to this movie, so this is very sad. I liked some aspects of the black phone. I didn't see it. Even if the whole thing didn't work. No yeah, way. I was going to say, it looks stupid, so I didn't. <laughs> okay, this is a bit looking a bit more authentic now, film-wise. Not as filtery. Does he have night Damn. vision? I couldn't imagine being someone with such bad eyes <laughs> in television or both that I couldn't tell. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> and then it, this is the kinkiest porn I've ever seen. What's the the audio is clashing? Ah, my fingies. Eh. Damn. Hamburger lady. <laughs> Fingy. Blech. Man. A oh, beer. This segment better start getting better because it like when was that the end of it? Like, come on, what's going on? Mm, That'd be pretty Chicago style. Nice. Was feel, that that part, that moment right there felt a little like uh, Steve Brule. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn. Okay, so they're seeing new videotapes per crime scene. Okay. Detective TV cop. See, the audio sounds great here. As in authentic. The devil. Why is there a camera on this random mailbox? Yeah, like ring what? doorbell 1985, like Yeah. What what is this? What is this? Britain? The United Kingdom? Yeah. <laughs> 20 years later? <laughs> God, I hope he didn't write this as well as direct it. This is a very uh oh stinky uh, segment. second. <laughs> okay, he didn't write it or produce it, apparently. He just directed it. Maybe he was like, fine, I'll do your stupid VHS, and they gave him the worst one. Well, I was just about to say, this reminds me of like Ty West's involvement in the ABCs of Death anthology horror films where, you know, they get a big, big ish name, somebody who like one of the bigger directors like attached to it. And then they just have such low respect for what the project is that they just shart something out <laughs> and everybody else tried. And it's like, what the fuck, dude? Like... <laughs> It's so disrespectful. It, this really feels like one of those where like Scott Derrickson was like, okay, I'll do your dumb movie and just like didn't think anything of it and thought like, what? You're not supposed to try. It's a fucking VHS. Who cares? 
This it honestly feels disrespectful. Like he didn't care. It gives me a bad vibe. Ty West did a VHS segment, and that one was your favorite. Which one did he do? Which VHS did Ty West do? Okay. I can't believe they got Brandon Lee. Whatever his name was. The Crow. The lesbian one? Which one was the le Which film was it in? <laughs> the first? I don't remember that at all. There were two passable segments in the first one. One of them being the best ever. <laughs> um, neither of those were directed by Ty West. Oh, wait. Who directed the Halloween kids ending segment in the first one? I mean, that was, yeah, that was passable. See, what's unrealistic about the, even the, the, the numbers that like, VHS, like the time code and the date, is they were never that small because resolutions of television screens you were watching them on back at that point in time, like they were, they took up like a quarter of the fucking screen because nobody was watching them on TVs like this. Like it, that's entirely unrealistic. your mom <sighs> Why is this one in widescreen if it's pretending to be tape still? Like the widescreen it would make make sense if the aspect ratio was widescreen for just the film parts that they found. But now it's back to VHS. They got the time code and everything. Now it just feels like a stretched image. It's kind of weird. I really think they just phoned this in. He's doing a lot of George Lucas uh, camera A and camera B. They're not taking the project seriously. Again, they misunderstood the assignment. Also, he looks pretty cute in a dress. Yeah. My uh, impression of Scott Derrickson is not uh, raised from this film. I was honestly going to give him a chance with this. I was, I was honestly open-minded. 
But this is now reaffirming how I feel about his other films. Yeah, John goofed. Scoot. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is disrespectful. You don't know what he thought he was doing here? He's obviously is just doesn't care about the franchise and just took the money and made took something dumb. Yeah. Yeah, like he's obviously it's this is this is just feels disrespectful. Oh my god, he got his son to play the Gustine. Oh that means no. he, that means he didn't have to pay the son. Son, you're in my movie. But Jed Oh, did someone get chainsawed? Oh my god. <sighs> That's my house. So the implication is that it's widescreen tape? Was it... What do you mean? Was that film converted to tape? Why did you lower the quality to tape quality after the rewind section, but before it looked like film? You fucks? Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. Like I guess I guess it's because they're watching it on VHS, but then it's like, why why didn't they record it on VHS? And the the res the aspect ratio choices are just so odd with this one for like 1985. Who the fuck had a widescreen tape recorder here? I do like the PAL FPS, though. That means it's in Europe. <laughs> exactly. It's genuine, though, because a lot of tape and television shit was filmed that way. Oh. Yeah, I like that. I mean, they could have cropped it. I just, it's again, it just feels like they misunderstood the assignment. Like, why is this one standing out with the aspect ratio? It made sense when it looked like film, but now it's like, why is the whole segment that way when it's not supposed to be filmed the whole time? Maybe you have a different copy, Sonix? Yeah, maybe you do. I don't know. Oh my god. This is fucking the Neil Breen style exposition. Yeah. Bobby, how could you hack the government? Oh what he didn't see the fucking gun? Tell yeah, the... yeah, he was he. That was a the, the angle too. Like yeah. he must have been holding it up pretty high to get that right. Like <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't a pocket snipe. Bobby just that's so dumb. 
Bobby just likes holding his gun all the time. Uh, clearly not a cop. Never didn't want to do that take again. They left the kid in the interrogation room. Yeah, you know, like death note. Prove he's not the killer. Oh, apparently he's not handcuffed though. Now I'm a VHS. Oh my god. It's like he hate it's like he hates the VHS franchise. He hates his kid <laughs> and he's just throwing these things in there like you're not in anything important. I'm not going to put any effort into this. You can all just I'm throwing you a bone. I'm too good for this. I directed Doctor Strange. Just reeks of just being a dumb like the, the, like he's just kind of an asshole for this. <laughs> uh, Sonex, your monitor is that's not square. Your monitor is much wider than the aspect ratio of the film. You have a very wide monitor, Sonex. <laughs> a thick monitor, if you will. That it, this is this is like at the very you have at the very le least like four by three. That is not a one by one at all in the slightest. Okay. This is it's still widescreen what you're looking oh at. Your God, monitor is just dream. way wider. Widescreen doesn't mean it fills the gaps on any monitor you have, no matter how wide it is. But yeah, that is not a square. Why is this one Mommy so Mommy by Xavier Dolan is shot in a one-by-one -one aspect ratio. And it looks like an iPhone. It's like a visual um, trick, even. Okay, so he dreamed the other guy killing people? This is so late. Who's filming? Is this all going to just pan back and be like, and actually, this was directed by Neil Breen. Like, who... What the fuck is going on? I mean, would you be upset if it said directed by Neil Breen after it? Yeah, because like he's just shit posting something out and he doesn't care about the franchise or anything. Who cares? Oh my god. This is pissing me off. This is like one of the worst things ever. Does he have a phone? Ah. Uh... Uh. misunderstood the assignment completely this fucking director dipshit Derrickson doesn't understand how to make something in found footage he just dipshit filmed things Derrickson. in the way that he would film things anyway and then was like we'll just add a we'll just add a fucking border after the fact we'll just add a border there's no reason why we're seeing any of this you're a piece of shit he doesn't respect the franchise at all Holy shit, what an asshole. I'm sorry. What I an absolute piece of shit. He doesn't respect anything. I fucking love dipshit Derrickson. <laughs> uh, you'll always, Thank you, Stardust. You'll always be my the son. The camera's recording his dream. Who cares? My gay, gay Shit excuse. Son. Um... We're watching VHS 85. There's one more segment. It's an anthology horror film. There's one more, or is it about to end? Is it, is it going to end? We're going to watch Bottoms after this, which is uh, a comedy Bottoms. movie. If anybody wants to download the film Bottoms uh, or purchase it or whatever, um, we will be watching that directly after this. We are not too far. We're like 10 minutes away from finishing this film. Um
Spratling. I hate Scott Derrickson. Damn, I almost thought I was like, like being unfair to him earlier. Now I'm <laughs> like, no, he, this guy's an asshole. Complete fucking asshole. Imagine trying to, like, imagine being the producers of this franchise, trying to get people together, giving creative freedom to people, being like, make your segment, it'll be an anthology, we'll have enough segments in here, and people will just, you know, it'll, we'll present it as one thing. And someone just gives you, like, I, I farted. What? Asshole. The music cut out with the other audio. Why is the music suddenly diegetic now? What? I don't know. It's like they fixed the music issues in this segment. What the fuck? Raw footage. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Look at him. He's going to do it. What the hell? The audio is so much better. Why wasn't it... Okay, it's now it's a little too much. The music in particular in the part like a little part a little bit before it was fixed. I like that there's consistency though with the visual and music in terms of when it cuts out though. Ah oh, no. Yeah, sound effects are a little too much. <laughs> he didn't do anything James Wan would make a good segment yeah of course he would actually I haven't he ha I haven't seen him do anything related to fan footage so I have no idea his directing style seems like a bit over ambitious for what the assignment would be get me out of here Man, I'm now remembering the movie Slither. That was a good movie. I like that movie. I haven't seen that in a while. Aquaman uh, 2 is going to be a disaster because it's, there's going to be too much studio meddling, even though it doesn't matter. Oh, another feeling. That's my prediction. I don't I don't think what James Wan wants to make will be what the final product is for Aquaman 2. Is James Wan doing 2? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Great. Love that. Fuck it. Let him go. Love hearing that. That's a very unique and sensible thing to have in a horror movie. Love it. That's a refreshing thing to hear. Up. Oh. Uh -huh. 
Oh, wipe it off, wipe it off, wipe it off. Love it. Nice detail. I'm always impressed with something in a Bruckner thing. I'm always like, there's always at least one thing where I'm like happy to just see like a refreshing take nerves, on something. Not your, uh, or your, they don't ring your finger. Ah! Your fingerprint. Uh, oh, sheesh. Fun. Death of the artist. <laughs> <laughs> Please let the camera get dragged away with him. No. But cool. It looks cool. And also very genuine looking visual distortion here. Well, wee! No, well. no, no. The other bodies were dragged in so fast and with one pull. It should be like you when can't you get tell, a You can't tell them how to eat. It should be like a vacuum cleaner when you put on the uh, cold retractor and it fucking flies everywhere. I like the slow. I like the slowness. Because if it was too fast, it would either practically they would have to like speed up the footage, which would look like shit, or do something like dumb and digital, right? I think that th this True. is the best option for practicality in terms of filmmaking. If you're going to have the camera be dragged, this is the way to do it. I like this. And yeah, the visual distortion feels very authentic. Love the audio distortion here. Ha <laughs> ha! This is great! Yes! Yes! Oh my god, such a good ending. What? That's so funny. Love it. What? So satisfying. What? I don't understand. Oh. Self-aware. Self-aware. That was fun. Damn, that was the best VHS movie since two. <laughs> I think, despite Scott Derrickson. Ah, oh, I love this song. <laughs> Ninety four was better. I'm trying to remember like a segment from Ninety four that I enjoyed better than the ones I enjoyed from this one. This song is funny. <laughs> Notice how they don't uh, refer to dipshit Derrickson's. Is this Thanks, weird, Brad. Al? Thanks, no. David. Oh, no. Never mind. I know Adam did... Winker did the wraparound in VHS one. It was like the most boring fucking part. <laughs> it was the most nothing part of the whole movie. There was like... No, there was no point of the wraparound. This VHS film is being received pretty negatively. Yeah, well, because people are fucking dumb, so... <laughs> Negatively compared to the other ones? Do you want to show me, like, in comparison to the other ones? Let's look at the IMDb. All right. VHS 85. We got 5.7 out of 10 user rating. Wait, what did that say? Metascore. Mike Flanagan? Did it say Mike Flanagan? It said something, Mike Flanagan. Okay. Um, the first VHS movie has a 5.8 out of 10 and a 53 Metascore, so that's 
literally this sorry 54 metascore literally 0.1 higher for user rating and metascore than the first film so okay uh vhs 94 has 5.5 out of 10 and 63 in metascore weird that that one's rated so highly on the metascore couldn't explain that one i i mean weird uh vhs 99 better metascore worse user rating 5.1 5.1 out of 10 user rating, 58 Metascore. Uh, VHS 2, 6.0 out of 10. Pro- I think that's the highest user rating. Wow. 49 Metascore. I think that's the lowest Metascore so far. And then VHS Viral, unsurprisingly, the lowest IMDb rating in Metascore, 4.2 and 38. Unsurprisingly, nobody likes VHS Viral. This I think- song sounds like it was ripped from Five Nights. Special thanks? Oh, they didn't put your name, Adam. I'll tell him to put my name there next yeah, time. Yeah, tell them to re-release the film. Yo, can you patch the movie to include my name? Yeah. I mean, if they can do it for cats, they can do it for this. If they can do it for cats, they can do it for horse. <laughs> I dig this track, actually. I like it. The font is so small, it reminds me of video game, like, stylized oh, font yeah. sort of thing, you know? Oh, oh, no, not in that special More thanks special either. thanks. Brucky boy, thank me. <laughs> yeah, you should add him on Twitter and say, I can't believe he didn't thank He doesn't me. have a Twitter anymore. Yeah. I need to DM Brad <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and get Brucky Boy's contact info. <laughs> um, that was my favorite since the second one. I I think I liked that more than 94, which some people seem to love, but like I don't remember anything from 94 sticking out to me in any sort of like as satisfying of a way as this film did. Well, my favorite um, one was... I'll check out the Jack's films. You have to remind me. I'm still talking about this movie. Remind me after I'm done talking about this movie. Hold <laughs> on. Uh, what's up, Torkin? My favorite one was the Lake and the Ambrosia one. Yeah, that was a that had a good payoff to it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um... <gasps> Twitch just sent me money. (laughs) 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 Can we? Oh no, you've watched it recently, haven't you? A couple years ago. Oh, okay. Want to do a drawn together watch along? Yes. But it would just be me quoting it. (laughs) I know. Try to avoid that. <laughs> um, I mean, this is either a high five or a low six. I think I'll give it a high five. I think um, that's probably fair. Scott Derrickson, what the fuck? Dipshit. Derrickson. His segment was like what? A two? Oh, uh, that's generous. What, what? I don't think you've seen as bad of movies as I've seen. I think that there's worse True. movies. But what do you think raises it up from being a one? Like, what did it do well? It doesn't. That's not how my rating system works. Oh, well. It's not uh, what did it do well. It's what could it have done worse to deserve a one. What? That doesn't make sense. If if a movie does nothing, it's a five out of ten. If a movie does things good, it goes up. If a movie does things bad, it goes down. Yeah, and that's so it could have been much worse. That doesn't mean it did anything right. That means it just didn't do things bad as badly. Well, what about the uh, uh, VR segment? That was, I think, I gave that like a three or a four. Okay. No, I gave that a three. Quake segment, I gave a four. VR segment, I give a three. I think I'm comfortable giving Scott Derrickson's segment a two out of ten. And there is a genuinely a one out of ten. I think it was in the last VHS movie. I think it was the first one. It was like the punk zombie one or whatever that fucking thing was. I was like, who gave you like a job? <laughs> like, <laughs> how do you even, 
how do you even like get asked to direct something for like embar- like it's it's embarrassing to the point of like you don't even belong in this industry like you don't like you don't to suggest that you even deserve any kind of job making movies at all is like embarrassing scott derrickson i'm like okay you you pissed on the assignment you were disrespectful that one segment from the was it the last vhs movie 97 um I'm trying to think of a number that I should give to. Yeah, the wraparound segments, I would give a six. Maybe a seven. Mm. High six or seven. I don't know. I found the wraparound a bit average. I think six. Yeah, you're right. Six six is fine. But, yeah, I'm just... I don't know. That... I love the ending, and I love... The characters felt natural in that segment as well. Um... Oh, you know what? It felt like, like it felt really genuine and it felt like it wasn't as like bam 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 exciting. Mm. But also for the context of VHS movies, there hasn't been a single VHS movie where the wraparound segment was as interesting. True. Usually the wraparound segment in VHS movies is just go to the bathroom. <laughs> is basically the cute. It's just like we're not doing anything right now, but we're like filling up time before the next segment for like a, a minute there's like usually nothing to it there's usually absolute the wraparound segments are usually not even worth describing or commenting on and they're not memorable um whereas in this one it was like oh okay it's like it's like its own segment but you just see parts of it at a time um i think i realized yeah, exactly. it's usually just for the structure and that's it i think i realized what shitted me most about uh dipshit Derrickson segment it yeah. honestly feels like shit from the cutting room floor of sinister and it doesn't even feel related to well it actually kind of does because of the film grain part i guess yeah the you're film right. grain part everything's at a child's height sort of except for that second murder i guess um but Holy shit. And then there were some things where it's like, you, you couldn't have done a second take? A second take for that one? If, yeah, it honestly felt it's disrespectful. Like, like it, not, not just lazy, but like further like in, insulting than that. Everything was like a one shot and done. Let's fucking wrap it. Yeah. Like, no, no respect. No. And the gunshot artistry. in the car. It was yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was just fucking awful. It, you're right. It is really disrespectful. If <laughs> it really felt that way, yeah, I'm I'm actually shocked that they put it in. It. I mean, you give them money and they come back with something, and you kind of just have to accept it. I think ninety uh, eighty five would have been better as a whole without that segment. Do I have VHS 2 rated the highest out of the franchise? I guess I have to rewatch them. In my memory, VHS 1 is the best because it has my favorite segment. But maybe VHS 2 is the best because it has the most consistency. Because right now I have VHS 1 rated as a 5, but I haven't seen VHS 2 in a long time. And I have it rated as a 6. Uh, VHS 99 I have rated as a 5 generously. Oh, also I really loved the segment at the end of 99 from the directors of uh, Deadstream. That was a lot of fun. The Flying Lotus one was fun, too. There's two segments from VHS 99 that I can remember fondly, even though the first two were, like, genuinely some of the worst <laughs> of the <laughs> franchise. Um, and then VHS 94, like, I don't remember anything about it, which kind of sucks. I remember they were, like, in a fucking tunnel for part of it, and I was upset about the audio. Um. Oh yeah, I remember the one the segment at the end with the robot thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. VHS ninety four. Not as strong and not as weak. I think I'm going with a five again. I'm given like, Dan, I, it looks like I've given all of them a five except VHS two. I gave a six, and then VHS viral. I gave a four. 
I'm gonna give him this. I one, like the sorry. format. I like the format a lot. Um, it's all watchable, and it's never not worth watching except viral. <laughs> well, I guess if you want to watch a director spit in the mouth of people who hired him, watch Dipshit Derrickson's. Yeah. Segment. That could be a masterclass on... <laughs> Have we coined Dipshit Derrickson as like, yeah. his new name now? Okay. I mean... Do you think it's I mean, I said it, but... <laughs> yeah, and I said that was amazing. <laughs> I credited you. <laughs> sometimes things just... No, 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 no. I wasn't try- saying that you stole it. I'm just saying sometimes things just come out of my mouth, and I don't... <laughs> and I mean, it's I, I meant it, and I feel like that's appropriate as well. I just... Um... What, you think he's going to show up on your doorstep, breathing heavily? No, and, no, like, show you no. What's I trending just, like, on Twitter? Did I don't want to be Jackson? responsible for someone's new <laughs> harassment nickname. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, if every film he makes from now on is this level of quality, then maybe he'll have earned it. As long as people don't tell him that, and as long as people say it outside of his spaces, it's fine. As long there's, as a very clear, there's a very clear difference between criticizing someone in your own space and <laughs> going to their space and criticizing them. I do not support anyone going to their space and criticizing Nobody them. Nobody go call him and say, I wish you did better. Who cares about Best Buy? Who gives a shit? All right. Um, <laughs> bottoms and yes I'll check that Twitter in a second I gotta go pee I'm not gonna do it before I go pee so um, we're gonna to... load up bottoms I'm gonna change the title of my stream here and then I'll you know when I come back I'll look at Jack's films thing um, Adam's gotta do a pee pee bottoms what is I can't it, believe they made a movie about your house me yep <laughs> Yeah, I'm. I've never been like. I feel like I need to rewatch VHS Viral just to see. You know, because, damn, I remember it being so stupid. And none of the segments are good, but I don't think any of the segments are as bad as some of the segments of the newer newer films. The newer films, it's like, thank God that there's some good ones in there to make up for the bad ones, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But I think VHS Viral is, like, more consistently bad. Okay. All right. I'll be right back. I got to pee and BRB. No worries.